ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Manchester. The time is currently 20 past 11 in the morning. This airport project will turn Manchester into a global gateway for, for airlines. With that in, in regard with the Northern Powerhouse strategy that's ongoing, it's massive, massively important to us all. The challenge of this particular project is its sheer scale. It is a, an immense project, it's huge. But we're constrained by very tight programme conditions on this one as well. It's a short duration, fast pace. All the other trades are following us behind, so we've got to get it right first time. On the pairing link, delivering all the standing seam roofing elements, uh, corn there. Uh, glazing system, composite panels which are supplied from Trimo. We have the Terminal 2 extension which is basically 100% increase on the existing T2 structure, again standing seam roofing. Uh, we have corner A110 on the south facade, we have a blast enhanced north facade which is quite complex and it is a full envelope solution. It, it's the bedrock of um, the next generation of success for the business. To put this into context, Manchester TP equates to somewhere around 20% of our annualised turnover and from a material spend point of view for the key supply chain partners that we have, it's something like 35% of our spend over the next two years. So it's a very significant part of the development of Prater. This has certainly been the most challenging project of my career, not so much because of the complexity of the design, but more the sheer scale of the project. It was important then that we made sure that every product that we were putting on the building was fully compliant with the performance specification and fit for purpose. So with that in mind, we engaged early with Lango Rorks facade engineers and Bureau Happel's facade engineers and the professional team to review the specification and ultimately that led to us influencing the specification, which was a benefit to everyone. We've worked with Seeker now on numerous projects uh, in terms of collaboration, trust. Uh, there's, a, there's a very good understanding between the two businesses of, of our expectations. There's also an acceptance there of uh, challenge uh, in terms of us challenging Seeker to look at new ideas, new solutions, to bring innovation into the, into the mix. Uh, we understand that trust is not given, it's earned. And I think if you look in the history of Prater, uh, with Seeker Sarn, I feel we've got a fantastic trading relationship. We've worked on some huge projects, some real flagship projects. We need to be able to trust that they'll do their job properly. They need to trust that we'll do our job properly and ultimately we can deliver a fantastic project together. We have a very uh, established relationship with, with Cornair. It's really um, pushing the boundaries of what can be done, which is it's really paying dividends in, in this situation. They give us an opportunity to work on the larger, multidiscipline jobs. We provide technical assistance, design assistance, uh, verification, structural, we'll do bespoke testing as required, whatever is needed to provide Prater with the comfort uh, of a safe pit of hands. Again, Tremor are one of our key suppliers and, uh, and we find that they're doing a good job for us. We're able to, uh, to challenge each other. Um, we've got a, uh, quite a strong track record on airports and, uh, and other big reference projects. So. There's a real kind of synergy when we come together on jobs like this. The, the bomb blast facade on the, the main facade on Terminal 2 is provided in the Shuko FW80 XR system. Prater have been first class from day one. We're really important how that we benchmark, witness, sign off the product. Great products, so getting the product right to start with is, is key. Prater, uh, open, honest, the right behaviours, uh, which is working fantastically at the moment. Our Praters have been involved from the very early stage in the, uh, the ECI phase. We built up a very, very strong relationship together to understand what we were going to build. So because we built up that strong relationship, it's healthy, we're out on site, we can say our piece, we can be together um, and we can have our ups and downs like any normal contracting. But pleased to say, with the team that we've got on board here, it's really, really reactive and interactive and we're working well together.